Hey, in today's video I'll be installing a curtain rod for this window and I'll be installing a double curtain rod that's a curtain and a drapery rod and double or single doesn't matter it gets attached the same way for these brackets and this bracket I'm going to be mounting for a drywall. So let's have a look where to start. So before you start you want to take your curtain and start playing with the measurements a little bit because this curtain is 84 inches, some of them are 96 or even longer, so you want to figure out how long your curtain you want it to be. Do you want it to sit and drag on the floor or you specifically want it one foot away from the floor? Once you figure that out, that's going to determine how high you're going to install your brackets and your curtain rod. In this case, curtain is 84 inches long and I want it couple of inches away from the floor so this is approximately where the curtain will be sitting and that's exactly where I'm gonna make my first mark and that's actually where my bracket will be sitting and where I'm gonna drill the first hole for my anchor right here and this curtain is sitting on three brackets like that one on the left one on the right and one in the middle but I'm not gonna make a three marks for every bracket because I already made them one mark and I have a laser, self-leveling laser setup that gives me perfect line across this window and this is really great tool to have for any kind of jobs like that. Laser is really must tool in your home. It really doesn't really get that expensive. I paid 40 bucks a couple of years ago on Amazon. Now maybe slightly higher because of all of this COVID stuff and inflation, but I guess not that much. And it's gonna help you with jobs like that, with a hanging any kind of picture frame, forget about regular level, keep it in your garage. Self-leveling laser is a perfect tool for this. It gets installed on a tripod or you get a magnet attachment that you can hook up for any metal in your home. It's really awesome tool. And if you don't beat it up, it's gonna last basically forever. I'm gonna start installing my first bracket here on the right. And this is gonna be super easy because I already have this perfect level laser line and I'm only going to determine how far away I want it from the window trim. So approximately I'm gonna go inch and a half away in this case. So that's where I'm gonna make a quick mark. So inch and a half will be somewhere right there. So that's where I'm gonna place my bracket right here. Make a mark there. Second mark as well for a second hole. All right, now we can drill a drywall. You're usually gonna get screws and anchors in your pack with your curtain rod so you don't have to use your own. Get a proper bit and make sure your drill bit is not wider than your anchor because then your anchor will become loose, start spinning and you're gonna run to the store to get a bigger one. I think I just hit a stud. It's generally a good thing because stud is always better than a drywall. Let's check it out. I'm gonna take my stud finder. Oh yeah, I just hit right into a stud. Good, even better. It's gonna give me much better support for the rod. I'm gonna take a bracket, place it right over here where I drill my hole and just secure it with a screw. Great, looking good so far. I'm gonna add a second screw right away. Tighten this up a bit more. All right, this is not going anywhere. Let's move on the middle one now. So I'm gonna have to find a middle. From one end of a window trim to the other end, 101, so 50 and a half. Let's do 50 and a half right here, exactly on my laser now. I wonder if I'm gonna hit a stud again. I don't think I'm gonna be that lucky. No, no stud, just a fiberglass. Let's make a mark for a second screw right away. Put it in, hit it with a hammer. All right. Oh, 
Okay, when you're using a drywall anchor with a drill, try not to over tight the screws because you might kill the anchor. You might make it spinning inside of the drywall and then it's gonna become loose. That's why for that final touch, for that final spin, use a hand screwdriver just to make sure it's tight but not over tight. This is good as well, very good. Now we move to the last one. I'm gonna guess I have a stud here because it's same as over there, the end of the window. So let's check it out. Oh yeah, definitely a stud right here. That's a good thing. I like the studs in the wall. They're much better for installing anything. If you're thinking about getting a stud finder, definitely get one of these. This is superior comparing to the one that beeps a lot with one line only, not even showing you where is the center of the stud. I mean, look at that. It's exactly showing you the thickness of the stud. So you can drill whatever you're hanging right to the center of your stud. Let's say you're hanging a TV mount for your heavy TV. Then you really want to hit the center of your stud and you don't want to miss the stud because it's so heavy. Kids might be walking underneath and you know, you definitely want to have that confidence that you hit the middle of the stud and you did the job right. That's what I'm using at least. Let's try to hit that stud now. Good. Stud finder didn't lie. Want to make that nice and even. Okay. Going to put a second screw. Nice and secure it. And I'm almost done here. And that's how to install a curtain rod. Basic tools, tape measure, screwdriver. You don't even need a drill. You can pop the drywall with the top of your screwdriver. And the most important, laser level. If you can get that, you have half of a job done. Thank you for watching. Give us a like and subscribe.